What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news and I have to say that we have uh, several uh, news that might drive for the price of this asset in a long-term perspective. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point. Uh, and I've told you that uh, this asset hit uh, the range of uh, resistance that previously was the range of support. And I drew this line uh, back in the days. And uh, this uh, line works uh, perfectly well. And my main assumption was that uh, we have to prove or disprove the theory that uh, we might have the next leg to the upside in order to complete five wave structure. Otherwise, if this asset would break this uh, bottom and this basically top and this bottom, definitely we have to confirm this ABC correction, these uh, three waves as an ABC correction. And in this case, uh, we should retest uh, the lowest point right here. And uh, as you can see, with this uh, movement uh, to the downside, we broke this previous uh, swing high. And the next leg uh, broke uh, even this bottom and we eliminate uh, this movement as a potential uh, motive wave to the upside. And uh, why uh, this uh, movement uh, happened? Definitely, uh, right here we had uh, their event and uh, from the fundamental standpoint this event should drive the price of this asset higher. But instead of this, we had a decent movement to the downside uh, that leads uh, to lower price points. And uh, why it is happening? Let me show you that uh, they have uh, several announcements uh, on their official press release section. First of all, they represent uh, their Air Touring and Air Pure models. And uh, also, they have uh, some disclosure in uh, their upcoming Gravity model. On top of that, they announce the uh, opening of first Swiss retail location in Geneva, Europe. And uh, because of this news, uh, let me show you uh, this news in details. First of all, their uh, new studio in uh, Geneva should be opened uh, basically today on November 18th. And it is a very good long-term uh, catalyst uh, that shows uh, their intention to increase their sales in Europe and in quite uh, rich countries of European Union. Next one. Uh, they represent uh, their air touring and pure model. And uh, right now they have uh, the lowest price uh, of uh, their vehicle at the range of about uh, $87,000. And the highest price is uh, at uh, 200 and, uh, almost $250,000. And let me show you this uh, news uh, in uh, just uh, one summary. Luxury electric vehicle maker Lucid Group on Tuesday revealed several new versions of its Air Sedan. The company said uh, the Lucid Air Pure will start at uh, $87,400, its lowest cost model yet. And uh, definitely it is quite good news, uh, but a lot of people anticipated uh, the information about uh, their upcoming models. And uh, this is uh, one of these models, let me show you right here, it is a gravity model. And uh, uh, they uh, showed just uh, several teasers of uh, this uh, vehicle, let me show you on their official website what do we have. Uh, this is just a very, very handsome video about uh, this uh, vehicle. But we don't have any technical information, any information about uh, uh, the price of this vehicle and any information about uh, some kind of uh, roadmap uh, of uh, their production. And uh, this means uh, it is just a teaser and uh, the only information that we have uh, that uh, this uh, vehicle will be available for ordering in a matter of just uh, several months, at the very beginning of 2023. And uh, the first vehicles uh, should hit the roads uh, and should be delivered to their first customers at the beginning of 2024. So we have uh, more than one year and in my opinion it is uh, close to two years range uh, until we will see this vehicle on the roads and uh, on the in the hands of first customers and uh, we don't have uh, any information on their official press release section about the upcoming mass market model and in my opinion uh, because of uh, this uh, so-called lack of information and lack of anticipation uh, first of all of uh, their uh, new mass market model and secondly details of their gravity production and uh, on top of that, uh, Peter Rollinson didn't uh, say anything about uh, the almost the th thousand vehicles that are 
on their parking lots right now and I covered it in my previous video and let me show you that uh, uh, these vehicles are on their parking lots for more than a couple of weeks and right here on uh, Benzinga.com we have this article that was published uh, about 10 days ago and it says what's Lucid doing with nearly 1000 EVs in storage? CEO Rollinson has these insights and let me quote you this Peter Rollinson said, this is a function of the cadence by which we've ramped up. We've made remarkable strides in ramping up and naturally there is going to be a phase lag between producing the cars and getting them out to our dear customers. And uh, definitely uh, it might be the case, uh, but uh, I don't think that uh, this case might last uh, for this long period of time. I think uh, about two weeks ago they started to collect uh, these vehicles and uh, uh, in a matter of just uh, several hours, let me show you right here, if we uh, take a look on uh, Boris Workshop Twitter page, we can see that uh, we don't have uh, latest uh, flyovers uh, on the Lucid uh, plant and uh, when we'll see this update definitely we'll have more information whether or not uh, the number of these vehicles uh, decreased uh, or probably it might even increase. And if the number will be uh, higher than the previous uh, number, about 1000 vehicles, definitely it will be the negative sign. Because uh, for uh, several consecutive uh, weeks uh, they collected these vehicles on their parking lot without any deliveries, without uh, uh, basically deliver these vehicles uh, to their customers. And this uh, leads to much more questions uh, from the fundamental standpoint. Whether or not they have enough demand for these vehicles. Uh, whether or not these vehicles are ready to be shipped. Or they probably might have uh, some uh, logistic issues. And uh, definitely this leads uh, uh, to much uh, higher bearish pressure on Lucid stock. And let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, uh, what do we have right here? If we will take a look uh, on the price section from this uh, previous swing high, probably we might have uh, uh, this type of breakdown. This might be the first wave. Second, this entire wave is the third one. Fourth, and we are about to see the bottom of our fifth wave. And uh, for now, it is very tricky to make an assumption where this uh, bottom might land. But let's assume that we will at least retest this uh, $10.8 mark. And if it is the case, uh, we might see the next leg to the upside that should break these previous swing highs and we have three of them. And if and when it happens, definitely it will be a bullish sign. Otherwise, in my opinion, uh, we have decent chances to retest this bottom and see the lower price action. And the next range of support probably will be the round number of $10 mark. And I have to say that uh, uh, if I switch to daily time frame, $10 mark is also the psychological number for their first uh, SPAC uh, investors because uh, they bought uh, these uh, shares uh, at the price of roughly $10. And uh, definitely it will be uh, quite uh, stressful for a lot of people to see uh, the prices uh, below $10 mark. This means uh, $10 is, uh, should be a very strong range of support from which we should have at least a bounce that might lead to much higher prices. And what should you do if you want to enter the position? Depending on your uh, investment horizon, you can accumulate on every daily red candle if you want to invest in this asset for the long time and if you already done your own due diligence. Otherwise, if you want to see more confirmation, let me switch again to hourly time frame, you have to see the higher highs and higher lows and only in this case uh, you will be on a quite safer territory that will prove that probably we are in uptrend. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm 